Alright, hi YouTube. I want to come on and update about my pregnancy. So, let me get my notes here. Um, first things first, I have an obstetrician appointment on June 5th. And that, um, that appointment just went over results that I'd already received over the telephone from the nurse practitioner. And so, um, toward the end of the visit, because it was like a I swear it was like a five minute visit um, the nurse practitioner said she wasn't going to do a fetal Doppler or an ultrasound because I'm just way too early and we kind of went back and forth and I was telling her I'm having you know one sided cramping and she said that you know um, go to the ER if you start bleeding because you know you're just way too early there's nothing I could do so I left the appointment and um, went home I was almost near tears and then I got advice from some women on Facebook to call around and look for a free ultrasound place that would do um, ultra like a private place that'll do ultrasound so I decided to call and there was one place that the only requirement is that you have proof of pregnancy or um, you get a pregnancy test done there and you had to be at least eight weeks pregnant so I decided okay well this is it made the appointment for June 9th, that was this past Tuesday. So, um, I really like spent the weekend just upset and on edge and just like trying so hard to um, not psych myself out and say something has to be wrong because you know I'm having these cramps or whatever. So, I went ahead and um, went to my ultrasound on June 9th, it was at 1.30. Um, beforehand, because it's a private place, it's um, she, I was required to talk to a counselor there, and she was just like, what do you want to talk about? Like, do you want options? Like, what are you planning to do? Parent, adopt, abortion. It's a parent, and I explained the PCOS to her, the five years of trying to conceive and all that. And she seemed really, like, um, happy, because she said, usually, typically, they get uh, cases of women in their, you know, facility who want to abort because they have absolutely no family support. So, um... I met with the doctor, a male doctor from I think Kaiser he was saying, or she was saying, Kaiser and he comes in and does free ultrasound once a week or, or twice a week. And so um, at first they were going to do an abdominal, abdominal ultrasound and he said since you're so early, um, I should have been eight weeks and five days, since you're so early we're going to do transvaginal. Fine. Emptied my bladder and uh, went back to the room comfortable lay down and all that and the doctor and the female witness who was the counselor I was previously speaking with because she and I talked for a good 10 minutes because she said uh, it's just one of the requirements and uh, to get an ultrasound as the counsel before so he sent her the transvaginal ultrasound and he turned the screen towards me and there was a big TV on the wall and plus the screen for the ultrasound right next to me so he's like oh I see you have your cell phone out so that would be good you could take a video or a picture as well First thing he saw as soon as, you know, the wand went in, the transvaginal wand, was uh, two large cysts. And he was like, has anyone told you that you have these cysts? I said, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. And then um, he was like, okay. Well, then started searching for baby. And like, literally two seconds later, there's the baby, all wiggly. Um, and it was big. Like, I... I wasn't thinking I was that far along, and so I was like, oh my gosh, the baby's huge, it was wiggling, moving, and like, um, he was like, oh my gosh, look at that, definitely a baby, oh my goodness, oh my gosh, and so the baby's moving and dancing, and um, I just like, my focus though, because, you know, there is the heartbeat, I just want to see a heartbeat, please God, let me see a heartbeat, there's heartbeat. Even before the baby's all wiggling, I can see the thump, thump, thump in its chest. And so, wiggly baby moving around. Um, before the doctor even zoomed in, because I have ultrasound pictures, uh, you could just see the wiggly baby. Like, I mean, you could see the heartbeat. Like, oh my gosh. And the baby was huge. So when he zoomed in, it got bigger. It's like a blob, really, you know. But I could see when the baby's moving, you could see arms and legs and all that. And the head and the torso. And so, I just, I didn't cry or anything. Just 
super emotional and I just keep wondering why my obstetrician's office just couldn't do that. Like, you know, you can't do it for the peace of the mind of the pregnant mother. You'd rather stress her out just because. Um, and so, um, the first thing I was thinking is that I did not get pregnant at the end of April. There's no way. Like, this baby's too big. And so the doctor zoomed in and, yeah, uh... And the heartbeat was just really fast. Like I, I couldn't even like my mind. It's, <sighs> this just took my breath away. Like, what's going on? This is actually a baby. And so, um, the day. So that was on Tuesday, and today's Thursday. So I've been having like on and off cramping, no bleeding, no spotting since. And um, the doctor. So okay, so the ultrasound was over within like three minutes you know and so um me and the counselor lady went back to the weight room it's like an individual counseling room there you go and so she was um explaining to me like you know she loves it when the baby start wiggling for the camera it's just so adorable and uh, you know we're making the right decision to keep the baby i mean especially i mean I, I would never give it up so but she said because they're so used to that like she just she's my case was different um, than what she's typically used to, you know, and I believe in a woman's right to choose. That's fine. It, it doesn't bother me. That's your body and your life. It doesn't matter. So, um, the, um, the doctor came in about five minutes later, and uh, the, the counselor was showing me, like, this, this um, I want to say, like, a, a jewelry case for, like, a necklace, but it had four, it had seven weeks, eight weeks, nine weeks, and ten weeks, um, display of what a fetus looks like and so she was showing me that and I was just like oh my gosh like yeah that's what it really looks like and we have just seen mine so yeah and the doctor came in with the ultrasound pictures and he said the baby's measuring on track with my due date of January 14th I'm eight weeks five days that day and so today I'm nine weeks and he's not gonna change my due date and I was like so what's the heart rate 156 beats per minute and I, I mean I just I can't even believe it so here is one ultrasound picture that I have and okay one there's the baby and then here right here that's uh, oh no no oh goodness here is the baby again on the side okay. it's all curled up and I have a picture frame that I have like one other ultrasound in. So that's the baby and then that's the zoomed in view. So yeah. And oh down here on the ultrasound it says eight weeks in four days. Okay, can't read that. So it's eight weeks, four days. So I'm like, okay, well he had to measure measure the back of the baby. So it really could be the the baby just looks so huge to me though. And so, yeah, that was just a, a mother's observation. And so, um, eight weeks, five days, there's definitely a baby in there. And so, um, at the end of the session, after ultrasound, I got, I received the baggie, well, the bag, and has baby booties inside of it, and a, um, book where I could jot down my feelings during the pregnancy, which is what I'm going to start doing anyway. So, yeah, I have, it's all the same pictures, two ultrasound pictures, um, same angle, because, um, <laughs> what had happened was, no, I'm kidding, but it's all the same angle because I did not take a video of the actual ultrasound as it was happening, um, and I, kind of forget that but it's okay I took video of me in the room and I didn't know the heartbeat then but it's 156 beats per minute still having morning sickness uh, really bad like this morning sickness is terrible nine weeks today um, what else to say my next I have two appointments and this makes me upset even more I have two appointments at, with two different obstetricians coming up on July 2nd and they're both going to give me ultrasounds the same day like come on but the one is a high risk OBGYN that I'll go in the morning, and then the second one is my regular OBGYN, which I'll go in the afternoon on the second. Um, and so that's the next time I'll see the baby. Um, no bleeding, no spotting. Um, 
lots of food aversions now. There's a lot of stuff that just isn't as good to me like it was before, which is typical I hear. Um, and I'll stick with my OBGYN just because, you know, like they're the ones that were taking me in when I was early and nobody else would. So, um, there. So, uh, yeah. I just want to explain what happened on Tuesday. So excited. Like, I just, I can't believe it. I'm really pregnant and there's really a baby there. So, I'll update, um, if anything happens. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't really will. So, anyway, just relaxing. That's all I can do is relax. Alright, well, thanks, you too. There's a heartbeat.